If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, in order to rank the five members of a school's chess team for play against another school, the coach draws the following diagram. An arrow from one to two means player one has defeated player two. Part A, construct a matrix A with elements AIJ is equal to one if I defeated J and zero otherwise. B, construct a matrix B with elements BIJ equals one if I defeated J or someone who defeated J and I is not equal to J or zero otherwise. In part C, it's the player I is the top ranked player if the sum of row I in the matrix A plus B is the largest. What is the number of this player? Smash that like button and let's get started. So to find the matrix A, we want to check which, de which player defeated which other player. So you can see player 1 defeated 2, so A12 is equal to 1. Similarly, A14 is also equal to 1 because player 1 defeated 4. And we're going to go all the way through to compute each row of this matrix. So let's look at player 3. They did not defeat player 1, but they did defeat player 2. They didn't defeat themselves, they didn't defeat four, but they did defeat player five. And so we have to go for, for each of the players, we have to figure out who did they defeat. And so this last one, player five, only defeated player two. So the only entry of one in, in this row will be in the second, col uh, second column. Now to do part B, we have to be a little bit more careful. We want to check who defeated either the player or defeated a player who defeated the player. So one defeated two, one defeated four who defeated three. So we're going to put a, a one in the one three entry and one defeated four who defeated five. So again, the one five entry will be a one. Two did not defeat anyone who defeated one. You can't defeat yourself. They did not defeat anyone who defeated three, and they did not defeat anyone who defeated four. They only defeated player five. For player three, player three did not defeat anyone who defeated one, but they did defeat player two. They can't defeat themselves. They did not defeat anyone who defeated four, but they did defeat player five. Player four defeated player one, and defeated player five who, de who defeated player two. And you could see how we do the rest. For player five, the only player player five defeated was player two, and the only player player two defeated was player five. So we're gonna have a, a one in column two and zeros everywhere else. So making the matrix B is a little bit harder than making the matrix for A, but both are relatively straightforward. Now we want to add the two matrices. Both of these matrices are five by five matrices, so we're allowed to add them. And when you add two matrices, you just add component wise. So our first row would be zero, two, one, two, one. The next row is zero, 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 two. Maybe I said too many zeros, I'm sorry. Then zero, two, zero, zero, two. 2, 1, 2, 0, 2. And then last, we have 0, 2, and 0, 0, 0. And to find who the best player is, we're going to add across these rows. That was our ranking of the best player. So you can see that player 4 has, a points, has 7 points, so they're the best. Or as I wrote, player 4 is the GOAT the greatest of all time. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.